light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yellow of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree. Before I go any further, this is the inspiration photo for this project. I'm also going to be using cardboard from a cardboard box. Now, if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I cut another piece of cardboard because I'll be using two for this project. And one of the cardboard is going to be longer than the other one. The longer cardboard is going to be on top of the shorter one. I need a swavy shape for this project so I'm going to try to fold the entire cardboard. After doing this, I realized that the cardboard was not as flexible as I wanted it to be. So what I'm going to do now is use an X-Acto knife and a ruler and draw lines with it to create light ridges. Now it is so much flexible and perfect for my design. I did this for just one board, which is the longer board. So the shorter board is going to be at the bottom and the one that I just worked on will be on top. I'm going to go ahead now to make the wave pattern and I'll start by using a hot glue gun on the cardboard that's at the bottom and then attaching the one that's at the top on that thin line. This is the size that I want to be all around the pattern. So I'm going to use this as my guide for the remaining ones. I'm gluing the cardboard only from the top to where the mirror mark is because the middle part is going to be cut out. I'll be doing the same thing to the bottom part. And only the sides will be fully glued to the board. I'll be using an X-Acto knife to cut out the middle part. I took this route because I wanted each of the swaves to be the same from the top going to the bottom. To cover up the rough pattern, the whole thing is going to be covered with poster board. I'm using a tailor's tape to measure out how long the poster board is going to be.
I love how smooth it's looking already. Now I'm gonna cover up this part here and then cover up the top and the bottom of the design that's open. I'll be spray painting the whole thing silver. I'll be using masking tape to cover up the part that's gonna have a mirror design. Next thing I'll do is cover the open parts with Mod Podge and I'm using the Mod Podge that has a glossy finish. And then I'm going to be using Crushed Mirror Glass on the Mod Podge and I got this from Michael's Craft Store. When applying the Mod Podge, it has to be a thick layer thick enough to hold the crushed mirror glass in place. I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then add another layer of Mod Podge and more crushed mirror glass. Immediately I was done with the second round, I carefully removed the tape. I let it dry overnight and it's good the way it is, but to make it easier on the hands when you're touching it, I'm going to be covering the whole thing with Mod Podge again. I'm going to keep that aside to dry for some hours and I took another poster board and I'm going to be covering up with mirror reflective paper and the link for this will be in the description box below. After that, I'll cut it into one inch long strips that I'll be using for the design. I'm going to do the same thing to the rest. When I was done, I removed the protective film that's on the mirror reflective paper. Now I'm going to glue my mirrors inside using a hot glue gun. And remember that the middle part was not glued, so that made it easy for me to insert the mirrors and glue them inside. 
the openings here are perfect for lighting, which was what I wanted to do, but they're kind of rough, so I'm just going to cover that up. At the back, I glued hooks there to make it easy to mount it on the wall. I may be giving this out to someone, so this is the table that I hope to make to go with the wall mirror. This is one of the items in my last giveaway, and it's a remote controlled lighting. And the name of the winner is in the description box below. Congratulations! I absolutely love how this turned out. I hope you all enjoy this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other DIY home decor videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.